So I read a lot of good reviews about Frigidaire AC units, so I decided to go with this particular one. It's 8000 BTU and cools the rooms up to 350 square feet. It's compact and energy efficient. I'm going to install this by myself, it shouldn't be too bad. So let's unpack it and see what is inside. There is a package with instructions and warranty papers. So we have several things in this bag. So there are some installation strips some different kind of insulation strips there is a remote and then there's these two side panels you can just lift up the box I didn't realize that first and now I'm gonna just go ahead and take off all the packaging stuff There is supposed to be a top rail somewhere and I can't seem to find it. Instruction says it's on the side of the unit but I don't see anything. It turned out it was at the bottom. I carried this one flight up by myself. I have to admit it was heavy. It weighs about 53 pounds. This is the top rail I was looking for. It has a soft cushion. We are going to attach this to the main unit with four screws provided. Cushion side facing the unit, it's supposed to avoid the vibration. I think this is the perfect time to hit the like button for me. Thank you for your support. These are the side panels, there are two of them, right and left. You just pull out the accordion part out gently and it has this T section. And that just flies into the main unit to these three channels. Then top and bottom rail slides into the channels on the main unit. Nice and simple. Now it's time for the hardest part that I've been dreading. I have to lift this up again and make sure it won't fall down. It's already heavy and outside portion that is hanging out is heavier than the front. So that's my challenge right now. It's easy to lose it. I struggled for a while. I had to get the bottom part inside the window sill. It's a big challenge if you are trying to do this by yourself and if you are a small person, even worse. But eventually, somehow, I managed to sit it correctly and secured it down by pulling down the window. Now there are these three holes to lock the unit to the window. They provide you with the screws. You're supposed to pre-drill the holes to, the, to your window. I had the already holes from the existing unit and I'm gonna use those. But the middle part didn't have any holes so I was able to just, without pre-drilling, I was able to do it by using some force. But I recommend to use a drill. This was a little bit a uh, hassle. For the bottom, there are two more locking screws that they're supposed to attach with these clips. These are two, they provide you two different types of clips for wooden windows and for vinyl windows. I have vinyl window here. 
and this is the clip for I think this is for wooden windows and here this one is for different purposes we'll get to that later but none of the clips they provided me was not a good fit for my situation they were too long I think I'm gonna be okay without these we have one more lock to install this is the sash lock that locks the lower sash and this is good for both sides inside no one opens it accidentally and also from the other side any intruder for especially for the first floors this is my second floor but if it was on the first floor an intruder won't be able to open for this i used my drill to open the pilot holes that's done now I'm gonna seal the gaps for against any air leaks and also insects. I have three different types of insulation strips here and I'll put some underneath. I can see some light coming through. Also all around the side panel and all the gaps. I wasn't sure where to apply this one. Then I realized this is supposed to go on top of the top rail where the window sash sits on. It's too late now. I don't want to go through the trouble of removing these screws. So it's quite tight anyways. I don't think I will get an air loss from here. I'll save this for next year. I already applied the white uh, insulation tape all around the side panel here. One last thing and then we'll be done. This piece goes between two window sashes. This is the remote and the middle display shows the room temperature, actual room temperature and right now it's 79 degrees here. Now I'm gonna turn it on. It's a bit loud but that's because it's on high setting. If I change it to a low setting it gets much better. This is doable, not too bad. Window units will always make some noise. If you want to hear nothing you have to go with a split AC. I have a review one of those and the link is right up here. Let me go over the remote very quickly. There are up and down and right and left buttons for temperature settings and fan speed. Mode is to navigate between cool, dry, fan and auto. There is an eco button which turns the cooling off when set temperature is achieved. Light button turns the display light on the unit on and off. Then you have the sleep. When you go to bed, you can activate it. It will increase the room temperature by 4 degrees and keep it there for 7 hours. There is a remote sensing. This lets AC unit to sense the location of the remote and achieve the desired temperature around that area. And the last one is the timer to delay stop or start. So that's about it. Let me show you the filter too. It's located right in the front, easily accessible and they do recommend to clean the filter once a month it's nice and clean never been used but when it gets dirty you just have to wash it in the sink that's it very easy we put this back again and that's about it guys for today Oh, one last thing. You can change the airflow direction by uh, these louvers. You can go right and left, also up and down. But they're going to have to be by manually. You cannot control this with your remote. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.